Eloy, Arizona, the new hotspot for the coronavirus pandemic. The city south of the valley has the largest growth of COVID-19 cases in the state. It's also an area known for having two immigration detention centers. The rebound Arizona team and investigator Liliana Soto spoke with families worried about loved ones who are locked up and demanding their release before they get sick. We're all human beings. We all deserve to be treated equally. And I'm just asking for help. Mavireli Hernandez is a U.S. citizen, but her husband came to the U.S. illegally when he was 12. We're not perfect. We all make mistakes. Two years ago, he was arrested for a DUI. Which was dismissed. Still, he was sent here to the La Palma Immigration Detention Center in Eloy. She says the last two years have been a constant battle for his release and now a fight to just keep him alive. My husband's been sick. He has like a sore throat. He has an infection. He hasn't been feeling well. He's His body's been hurting. He put in a, a medical request to see the medical. It's been three weeks. They still haven't called him to go see. They said that for him to drink water and there was nothing they could do about it. According to ICE website, there are 33 detainees who tested positive for COVID-19 inside La Palma. That's 32 more cases than reported only a month ago. Eloy's zip code alone has 61 positive cases. That's an increase of about 1,120%, making it the largest case growth of any zip code in Arizona. He says that at least a quarter of the pod where he's at is sick. Dangerous. They can die all of them just in, in few weeks, one by one. A woman who asked to only be identified as Susan says her son has been detained at La Palma since September, even though he qualifies for a green card. What's your biggest fear? <laughs> All of them going to die. Susan and Maviarelli are asking for release on parole. I mean, at least with the bond. So what would it take for these immigrants to be released due to COVID-19? According to an ICE spokesperson, they are reviewing cases considered to be at higher risk for severe illness as a result of COVID-19. ICE may place individuals in a number of alternatives to detention options. Decisions to release individuals in ICE custody occur every day on a case-by-case -case basis. We also heard from an ICE official familiar with the agency's policies telling us as of April 10, 693 individuals have been released from ICE custody during the pandemic. As far as how many have been released from La Palma, that information is not available. It breaks my heart. Maviarelli hopes her husband can at least get some medical help soon. Too many people have been dying because of this virus and I don't want to lose my husband and I'm sure that people don't want to lose their family members either. The ACLU of Arizona filed a lawsuit for the release of eight immigrants with serious medical conditions last month. So far, seven have been released. For The Rebound Arizona, I'm investigator Liliana Soto, ABC 15, Arizona. And the first COVID-19 death at an ICE detention center reported just yesterday at a location in San Diego.